on what I got in Korea. So I mainly got a ton of fashion and beauty items. I like to stock up on my trips as a bit of a treat yourself thing. Three words for you. Treat yourself. By the way, I went clam yesterday and no, I didn't fall off the rocks. I just scratched myself because I'm clumsy. I get a lot of my injuries not by accidents, just sheer clumsiness and walking into things. You should see my legs, they're covered in bruises. But I digress. I've got a bunch of fashion beauty things to show you. I'm really excited about that I kind of collected over my three week trip. So let's get started. So the first thing that I got was this bucket hat from Cause I got it in Hong Kong. It's made out of this navy corduroy texture and I really like it. I put it up on my Instagram stories because I didn't actually seek out to buy a bucket hat. It just kind of came to me in a way. Um, but I went into three cause stores because I was so undecided on if I should get it or not. And put it on my Instagram stories and everyone was like, get it. Except for my sister who was like, yuck. But I ended up getting it. Uh, so yeah, it's really cool. It's like this unexpected accessory that just makes an outfit just level up a little bit. And I love the texture. I love how it just looks from afar and then up close you can kind of see the cord detailing. And yeah, it's really cool. It folds up really nicely into little bags and I really like it. Very unexpected accessory that I thought I'd own, but it's very cool. So I want to move on to clothes, but I want to start off with the pants first. I feel like pants in Asia are just much more tailored to shorter girls. Um, as someone who's about 150 centimeters, I'm tiny, and I tend to just like roll up my jeans or buy petite things just to fit me. I just kind of make things work. So the first pair of pants that I bought following the whole corduroy texture um, are these roller roller pants they're very strange folded up huh? but they are in this really nice pink corduroy texture really sturdy um, I went into their store in Hongdae their concept flagship store I don't know what it's called and fell in love with these pants I've seen them on the Q2 Chan video that they did a few months ago and I was like, man, I really hope that these pants are still in stock. And they were. I tried them on and they fit super nicely. So what they are, are this wide-legged shape. They're quite tight on the waist. So it cinches in there and makes your waist look really nice and fitted. And then they flare into a wide leg shape. They've got this really cool detail at the bottom where the cuff is really thick and tall. So they look really cool with a pair of sneakers. And I've never owned a pair of blush pink corduroy pants before so it's something new to play with and it's something to just kind of lighten up my wardrobe to make it a little bit more playful uh, so I really really like these so my next pair of pants are very different to the pink corduroy pants they are these ones from Zara and they are this kind of houndstooth brown and black patterned wide leg pant I've got a really cute fake paper bag waist here with the stitching and a nice tie so again your waist is shown off and then it's super wide legged they cut so nicely on me they actually cut right above my ankle so they work really nice with a ankle boot especially in the autumn where we are now in Sydney I'm pulling these out for work all the time and they're really comfortable my only gripe is that they don't have pockets which suck but I kind of Packed that in when I bought them and I think they look really nice anyway moving on to tops I got this top from Zara as well so this was a top I got on sale I wasn't expecting to buy this but it was about $20 it's very sweet and elegant um, it's got this beautiful kind of uh, diamond embroidered pattern all across the blouse it's made out of cotton um, and they've got these kind of like subtle frills like not the in your face like shoulder patty reminiscent frills these are a bit more like demure and they work really nicely with a pair of like denim shorts but they also work really nicely with like a really elegant mid skirt so i think this is a top that's quite versatile and oh another fact is that they've got the sleeves they kind of come up just past your elbow so i feel like that cut really elongates your arm for me anyways and i find that quite flattering uh, 
so yeah it's a really cute top my next top i got is this patagonia t-shirt i decided it was time for another graphic tee so this one is in a nice pastel blue it's got the patagonia in like a dark gray and then the big patagonia graphic at the back i got this tee because nick and i wanted to get matching patagonia t-shirts in seoul and there wasn't any women's t-shirts in the seoul store so we ended up checking out the one in tokyo and they did they had women's t-shirts nick got his in like a darker navy blue so we've got matching couple t-shirts and i've been wearing this mainly rock climbing because you see a lot of people wear patagonia t-shirts rock climbing uh, i wore it out for kayaking one day and then i also like to wear it with my ripped jeans that's my favorite way to wear it at the moment just to keep it super casual and super low-key my last clothing item that I got was this Uniqlo knit. It's so comfortable. It's in this beautiful like oatmeal color. A nice oversized size with a bat wing. So it's super cozy. Uh, I didn't expect to buy this either. Went to Uniqlo to buy some thermals because it was freezing in Seoul and checked out what range they had in there. And Uniqlo overseas, especially in Asia, is so much more affordable and just so much cooler the styles are so much cooler i really love the thick neckline detail here i have a soft spot with knitwear as well i own quite a lot and it's probably the thing i like to wear the most during the colder seasons because they're just super comfy it's like you're wearing a blanket and yeah i don't think i think this will just come in handy during the whole season the next thing i got in Seoul was like my splurge purchase. I got these sunglasses from Gentle Monster. I've done my research, I watched a lot of Joan Day vlogs and just absolutely fell in love with their branding, their marketing. Just everything from start to finish is just well thought out and super cool. They are a sunglasses company and their stores all around Seoul have different art installations that get changed out every couple of months. Um, it's just very cool, it's super cool. I got these sunglasses that are just in a really classic style that I know I will wear all the time. Um, the style is called Key West and they just fit really nicely on my face. I think they work well, you know, with my hair down and with my hair up, which is something that I like to check when I buy sunglasses. And they've got this really nice reflective um, detailing. The case is really cool, but the fact that it's white, it's starting to get a little bit dirty and smudged so I need to either find a new case to put it in or I'll just have to keep cleaning it because there's like smudges appearing on it because it's just knocking around in my bag. Uh, but I really like them, they're so nice and so pretty. The next two things I got are from A-Land. They're a really cool like Urban Outfitters equivalent in Korea. And I picked up this Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin E Mask because I've heard really good things about it paired with the vitamin C serum. Um, so basically it's a mask, but it can also be used as a moisturizer. I've been using this as a night and day moisturizer because my Glossier moisturizer has finished. The texture is really cool. It's like this jelly that sets very evenly every time you use it. So you kind of like break this film and a little bit on your face goes a long way. Um, and it's very brightening it's very like your skin gets very radiant but I think I need to use this a little bit more just to see if it really does help with like pigmentation and dry skin but if you guys have ever used Claire's please let me know I also got this Bagu tote bag which has been a lifesaver in more ways than I expected it's this tote bag that folds into a super small square so I got they come in like a range of prints I got this in a really bright, solid color print, but it folds out into a huge tote bag. And I just, I've heard about these tote bags. I decided to give it a go and it worked really well. So in, I found in Seoul, particularly you go into a store and the heat is blasting. So you just start taking off all your layers. So I would throw in a jumper or throw in my jacket in here. It's also really good as a reusable tote bag, of course. Um, I've been putting it in my crossbody bags or just throwing it in my work bag in case I want to grab any groceries or buy anything after work or during my lunch break. Um, and it just folds so nicely back up into a little square. It's just one of those like lifestyle hacks 
that you never knew you needed until you got it. So I'm really impressed with this little thing. It's just magic. I absolutely love it. And it just folds back in just like that. Amazing. I'm going to jump into some more beauty stuff. Um, so I got two hand creams. This is the Dr. Jart Ceramidin Hand Cream. I got this in a little small 50ml size. It's a little bit battered because it's my current moisturizer that I've been carrying around with me from work to the weekends. Like I've been using it for everything. <sighs> Man, that traffic. <laughs> yeah, I really like it. It's quite lightweight. There's a very subtle fragrance to it. And it's been working really well. I've been using it mainly because my hands have been super dry. And also, after bouldering, my hands are so dry from the chalk all over my hands. The second hand cream I have is by Tambourines, which where you can tell by the incredible packaging, they are from the same company as Gentle Monster. So this one is the Nude Hand Cream. It's in an amazing tube. The scent is very like mandarin heavy, which I really like. And it reminds you of like the Aesop and Grown Alchemist scents. If that gives you a bit of an idea of what it smells like. Um, I haven't actually used this one yet. I'm going to finish, finish the Dr. Jart one first. Um, but it did come with two little samples of it. So I've been using those ones instead. But I feel like with this packaging, it'll wear out really nicely with all the creases and the bumps. Um, so I'm really excited to use this later on in the year. Next, I've got two makeup things from 3CE. I got this really cool multi-eye color palette in Plotris. So it's got a range of matte browns and some really nice shimmery, like rosy brown hues. So far, I've kind of used this light brown shade on the left the most, um, but I've been a little bit daring sometimes in kind of trying out the glitter. Eyeshadow is very much an enigma to me still, so baby steps. I'm going to need to watch a couple more tutorials before I can really confidently wear eyeshadow. I also got this uh, rose. It's like this really nice dark English rose color. It's called Brunch Time, and it's a matte formulation. It's a really beautiful color. It's like a dusty rose, but then it's quite bright on your lips. Um, and the rose gold packaging is quite luxurious as well. So I really like those two. Didn't buy anything from Style Nanda this time around, but um, I'm always on their website. They've got really cool stuff. So the last things I want to show you are these hair accessories. I got them in a jewelry hair accessory shop that's in Shibuya 109. So I actually got these earrings in 2017 at the same shop. So they sell a bunch of different um, like cute little jewelry things. Um, I got these two pair of two um, hair clips from there. So one's in this pink color and the other one's in the sparkly silver. Uh, I don't know how to make them work yet. They just look like they're for when you put makeup on but not to wear out of the house. So I need to have a play and figure out how to wear these. It's really confusing. I don't know how people do it on Instagram and I can't do it in real life. Um, so that's something I need to work on. But the second item I got is this little mini uh, claw clip. It's in this faux marbly seashell color. And it's just nice to put your hair half up, half down without it hurting your head. So that was everything that I got on my trip. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you very much for watching. And let me know what you liked from the haul. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!